Yo, what's up my peoples? We're back on the expanse and first of all I want to apologize for the last video because I had to take out a lot of spots. I'm still taking a chance because I don't like completely muting it. That's why we're hearing the audio to start off the video. I don't like completely muting it. So I'm just turning the music volume down hoping that we won't get detected. I do this with the wrestling games too. So a little tip out there for those who don't like complete muting. If it works, I'll let you know in the comment section. Um, so I'm taking a gamble. Uh, hopefully it at least let me, like, you know, take the, take it out and keep the commentary over it at least. That's what I'm hoping. So let's get it on. This is episode two, and like I said, apologies are in order because the last video got hit with a lot of copyrights and still to this day i'm deciding what to do with some of that do i cut it out splice it out or just mute it i'm probably just gonna mute it uh that's probably what i'm gonna do so uh my thoughts are in this one so part two review of of this one as i play episode two for the first time yeah playing episode two so we have episode two for the first time episode three for the, then i end the game for the first time yeah that's what we doing i got my kids long time yeah the eight i don't even call them the age what would i call you now ADG fam. the adg fam the adg fam, fam is because they're older they old they older than me all right so we like i said we're in episode two um Episode 2 is called Archer's Paradox. On a routine scavenging mission, an unexpected discovery brings new threats to the Artemis crew. So if you don't know, this is based upon an Amazon series, which I didn't know at first. So, yeah. Um, let's get it on. I guess we can start right here. Maybe. See, I don't even know where to start it. The way they did this screen is kind of aggravating. Like, it's, it doesn't really make sense. So, do I, should I continue right here? Or should I continue in the other spot? That's the question. Please, Kamina. All right. Don't do this. I'll do anything. Anything. I swear. I think I picked the right spot. Let's go. Sorry for the echo to start. So Cox did something to the ship, put them in danger before they put them in a thing. Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. And the time before that, and the tin time before that. The skinnies. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. So before we answer this, uh, I do want to mention that once again, like at the end, we put Cox in the thing. We found out that he had did something to the ship and they were like going out in hyperspace in danger or whatever. And they were asking her to make a decision captain or whatever. I have forgot some of their names and I'm going to lie to you, but here we go. She's tough. She's getting wicked. What should we say, fam? She's tough. Strong. She's a big Don't bad woman when she's this, no. But Khan's the toughest person I know. I think the bullet just made her mad. Tough or not, she's going to need help soon. So I looked up the actress that plays drummer. She bad boy. Oh. You'll figure something. And Maya too. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible. 
ETA, eight minutes. They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, don't these Pashanwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates are fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the med bag prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. Okay, what should we do? What would cops do? Man, forget. I, I would say forget what cops would do. I don't know. Cops might have knew his stuff, though. They kept me. He kept him alive. I mean, he might be a butthole. All right. What do you think Cox would do? He sure as fuck wouldn't be asking me about it. <laughs> Cox went with his gut. For better and worse. That's what a captain does. But maybe you're no fucking captain. Captain. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was NCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. Or much or more likely. How competent are you? How large is it? How competent? How sure? Y'all could help. <laughs> Y'all don't have to, but you can. Few days? I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a pistol grip ratchet and a flex head. 80%. New plan. We run for cover in there. Won't work, boss man. Even if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Cons, on my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn. I said it in the first one, but you might have missed it. Uh, the visualizations are very good. So in between certain I chapters see. and moments, I will speak. Six Outside eight. of it, probably silent and in the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy this. in the debris field.
not him doing the Undertaker thing, though. Yo, I had to mention that, yo. My wrestling fans stand up in the comment section. The start, very better than the last one. It's all about the story in a way when it comes to Telltale games. Gameplay is also important, but, you know, the control scheme... We don't have much time. Last time, Pirates it works. Pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Rotna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Virgil won't let you down. The prosthetic is ready. Is the uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. So Khan's getting a new arm, but like I said, the control scheme last time worked well. The story seems well, and I like this one's kind of getting off in a very good, exciting start, where the first one didn't really pop off until late in the game. This one popped off right in, and I think that's what they needed to do in episode two. Uh, it's probably going to get a little mellow at this point, but yeah, here we are with the ship's graveyard. Once again, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave comments, and there's going to be a big review at the end. Uh, ah. Let's go. Guns are picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for their reaction mass. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Delta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board, though. Damn. The blast doors to the Laguin are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives. Go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door. Guess that could work. Even tell which ship is which. It's all blasted to Falota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full on proxy battle. With a Belta ship at the center. Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Maya seemed willing to help with Khan's surgery. Hope she doesn't regret that now. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? 
The auto dock kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and... What the... Oye, Maya. Shit. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. Good work, Sasata. Boss man, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He. He's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah. Ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But... Thought you should know. Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta. Had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Sorry guys, I was looking around. I probably should have skipped. Uh, <laughs> but it wouldn't let me skip. But, uh, but I was trying to skip. That's what I'm trying to say. I was trying to skip. It wouldn't let me skip. But, uh... Looking around for that medicine for Arlen as well. If I can find it out, hopefully. Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. Oh, maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Virgil's a smart man and a reliable medic. Until he got our pilot shot, you mean? Some people don't have anything real to care about. Typical Inyas. Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. I'm sure Khan will be fine, but it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedoes! 
give those sons of bitches a welcome, or I'll throw you in the brig! Sit down, or I'll cut off the other arm! Sorry, Cap, what was that? Wait, are the pirates attacking? No! Khan is just a little woozy from the anesthesia. Don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna knock her out if she gets up again. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pashang Fong. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. <sighs> nice toss, Cap. Woo! Boss Mang, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah, you think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? We've been on the run for a week because somebody thinks so. Think so with a lot of torpedoes and guns, even. All right, I want to. Uh, I was telling my kids this, so I cut the mic on to, to tell y'all this part too. Like, um, they were saying, Telltale was saying, you know, in the thing they gave us that it's not just about the choices you make in this Telltale game. It is also about uh, the items you pick up and things like that that would change the story. So when you see me walking back and forth, I'm looking for items, supplies. Anything that would make my walls a little bit different and also help people get different outcomes if they're playing through the game. Even though this is my first time, it may help uh, other people. So. I'll never look at a containment vault. Right? How's that leg doing? A little sore still, but better. Thanks again for saving it, Cap. A little sore. It should be gone entirely. Unless you think we can eat it. Or use it as a torpedo, because we may have to, with how low our supplies are. We'll figure something out. I'll never look at a containment vault the same again, after that terrible situation with Rayon. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. All right, we're close to the end of this mission uh, to unlock the door in the Laguin, but I did not find the medicine. So, like, a little upset about that. I didn't find it.
So I, I'm looking around a little bit more before I go venture down that door. But I don't think there's nothing around here. But it wouldn't help the look. May get lucky. I don't think I'm getting lucky today. I tried. Let's keep it going. Hmm. Another blast door. Pushing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sect there. Almost made it. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sect there. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erta and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our fear. Torpedoes, away! I should check on Maya. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders. So, everything's fine. Maya? Are you afraid of the elderly woman with one arm? Fuck off. You weren't here. You didn't see the look in her eyes when she... Wait. Hey there! Do you want to lie down for a minute? Do you want to fucking die?! Oh no. The Static Cube Hacker might be useful. Sure, might let you break into Rayon's special data drives. That's a push toe! Found another barrel. Woo! Fancy! 
says, loaded, or whatever the Indians say. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! We've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order. All right, I found as many things as I could find. I um, hope you guys are enjoying everything. Don't forget to like, comment, support the video, and definitely subscribe to the channel if you've done so already. And if you also could check me out on twitch.tv forward slash at the game ADG, trying to grow over there after being away for over a decade. So it's like I'm starting over brand new, even though I have partnership. Let's continue this thing. Shout out to Telltale Games, give me a copy of the game on Xbox Series X. Captain, we're picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit! Cap, you got to get back here! Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Baka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. Yeah, yeah, I failed. But we're gonna do the skin. Why did it start us off way back there, though? I don't like that. That's way back. I do apologize if the fail. I'm gonna talk a little bit this time around. Um, Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? I'm, no, I'm used to it not having rate. anything. But they seem pretty sure of that already. And you're probably going to feel Put the same through. way when you play or if you play. Captain Zapata. You're going to feel like of the Artemis. all of a sudden there's a danger when it wasn't a danger before. And it's kind of weird. Keep sending your crew after me and I'll be forced to keep killing them. I literally didn't know what to do with this part. A long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drama. What the crap? You've heard of me? I've heard of your work. Y'all got any ideas?
Like go sideways? Yeah. Like whatever you go in. Sabaka. I doubt they will all be so easy. Remember, to this kill. is my first time, y'all. You know, doing if the I best respond, I can. Will they be able to chase the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drama of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. Hey, this is the one, right? It's the one after. Why are you talking so damn low? Excuse me, guys. Still, I'm on the ground, but I don't I think I need to get against the wall right there. Yeah. Right over there, far where it's at, where you see those shadows. Like this? This will pro this will probably work right here. Walking like this. What point to on the screen? Just go ahead and point on my TV screen. Get underneath there and wait for the laces to pass. You're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drama. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, Did I walk or just what play? happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. I see now. Not I didn't realize they were disappearing no when the uh, when it was up over those things. So Not basically, the use the is any the environment to cover you yourself, guys. Like we do. Of Thanks, though. All right, uh, I'm stuck on something now. Occasionally, you'll get stuck on things if you put your boots to the wrong spot. I saw your handiwork on the Urshanabi. At least my crew are not murderers. Don't tell me Kamina Drama weeps for the lives of UNN soldiers. You don't fight for the belt. You only care about yourself. And apparently the UNN has barely touched you. So what was their crime? Foolishness. And the opportunity to send a message. One you would do well to receive. You're out of your element and your deaths, Captain. No shame in surrendering a battle you didn't ask for. You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. 
Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. I wanted to explore that room and I probably shouldn't have, but I just wanted to. Like, I feel like there's something in that room that would be an extra item or something. So I tried myself and I may try it again. Because usually when they get in these scary situations, protect the rest of your crew. It'd be something there. Well uncapped, usually. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But then needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Okay. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I was thinking about doing it, but I guess I'm not the one. Not right now. Let's just get through it. You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone, stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates, even if I have to comb through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Jusson! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Sabaka. I told you to stay on the ship. Reprimand me later. Just let me do my job now. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shove off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. There!
Okay, definitely a more action-packed uh, adventure than the last. More at the end of the video while I'll complete review it. I believe celebrations are in order. Coordinates are set for the MK core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede at least. And how is the new prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. Being captain isn't all fun and torpedoes. Sometimes it means having to talk to Khan. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. Good talking to you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. So guys, it looks like I must have did fine. I give Burgle the mushroom powder. I so I must have did fine. Uh, is that like extra? I don't know. I'm confused. Let's just do this. <laughs> it's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. Oh, 
whoever took Colin's barbecue sauce is a lot braver or stupider than I am. True belters take water, air, and sleep wherever they can find them. Say anything else about these two, but they are true belters. True belters take water, air, and sleep wherever they can find them. Say anything else about these two, but they are true belters. Maya and Virgil learned a lot of line belter swear words in the past week. Khan seems to already know them all. Whatever Cox was saying about Virgil's past clearly upset him. I need to know what it was about. What's on your mind, Captain? Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Belters wouldn't like. I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but Cox was a habitual liar. First, he tried to murder you, then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No. Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. I found some mushroom powder for you to cook with. <sighs> Bursting with umami. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. on your mind, Captain? Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. Alright, guys. I thought I was going to say something else. That's why I'm double-checking dialogue. Make sure I see things that maybe I'll give you guys things that you know other people haven't. So, just doing that double work. If you appreciate that, maybe also consider giving me a subscribe. I don't know, man. All right, now we're going to talk to Maya. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. I'll decide what I like and don't like. My heart 
All right, so I'm guessing this part is on repeat, but I do want to say something real quick. It seems like a lot of people have not really explored this game. You see, I'm getting a lot of diamond achievements on the Xbox right now. And that means like those are rare achievements that people have done, not done like certain things. Maybe they didn't even check the box. Those that actually played the game. And it just shows that they're probably rushing through it. They're not trying to like really explore and love them. So we're going to leave the spot though right now. Just thought I'll say that real quick. Well. It's a beautiful song. My mom used to play it for us on the guitar. Half the time she'd break down crying and not even finish it. It reminded her of my dad. It's funny. I hate my dad. I hate the army he died for. And I hate Mars. But I still miss it. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. Anytime. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusion of fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Typical dumb Martian. You try to kiss a woman, but forget to take your helmet off first. If I did try to kiss you, there'd be no fucking confusion about it. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and... Settle it. I need to chime in for a minute. That's what I do sometimes at AG Plays. You know most people are going to say by effing just because people like being a little, you know, over the edge. Especially in gaming, right? Here we go. You know most people, especially the guys. They're going to hit B every time. I settle it. Are you talking about sex? Only one way to find out. Why is she acting so surprised? Honestly, I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. Ah. 
Afalota. Maya's the one who stole Khan's barbecue sauce. That is... Not at all surprising, actually. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Definitely. Fucking finally. <laughs> when Cox sat us down in the mess hall, I thought you were dead. And today in the airlock, I thought we were dead. I know. I'm just saying. You're not allowed to die on me, Commander Drummer. Because I'm not losing the one person in the belt I give a shit about. Captain, you're going to want to see this. There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? All right, guys, and another one in the books. Um, while these credits are rolling, I'm going to briefly give you guys a little rundown of what I think. Then we're going to look at the choices that we made and how we stacked up other people that played. The first thing I want to say, got, once again, got a lot of diamonds in this. Uh, a lot of diamond achievements playing on Xbox 360. And I believe that's just because a lot of people haven't played and they haven't explored in the method that I did. Maybe they rushed through it, finished it, they didn't like I did with that end with the lasers they did that with the entire thing but I don't know they they didn't destroy every nick and cranny to find the mushrooms or anything like that by the way mm, mushrooms you know what I mean uh, I don't I'm not saying you should do drugs I'm just saying that's interesting that was actually mushrooms and a guy's on pixie dust the story has its funny moments basically and interesting things I like it and I gotta say so much that this is based upon an Amazon series, and I have Amazon. I haven't heard about this series much. They done did a couple of seasons, but now I'm interested in watching it. It, may, it could work for them the other way. Those that played this, they haven't heard from it, but they played it because it's a Telltale game, and that's literally what I did. It was a Telltale game, so I'm like, I want to play it. I enjoy their games. So, And Deck 9, too. They've done some glorious games in the past. And it was, I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe they're also responsible for some of the Life is Strange stuff. So having these two together, yeah, you know what I mean? So, great story. Uh, there was moments where it got a little scary with the lasers, but 
I think it was a good challenge and a must needed challenge for those that may want to play it a second time and feel like they accomplished something if they can find everything in that sector with the lasers. But overall, like I said, I think this is a good uh, series, telltale game. I think this is a good game to pick up. Um, some may not like space scenarios, things like that, but I think you should still probably give it a whirl. Um, it's very Halo-ish, very Mass effect -ish, even though I haven't really completed all of any Mass Effects. I only played like the first one or so, but it gives me Mass Effect feels a lot, I guess because the choices and because they're in space. So those that like that may want to check this out as well. But let's go ahead and skip these credits and get to the other parts. But once again, I do recommend this game for those that like, you know, Telltale games, story-based, optional choice, cinematic games like this. I do still recommend it. So, con surgery, a lot of people kind of split down the middle. It's very close. Most people chose the laser crystal drummer found aided con's surgery. And 49%, as we did, drummer didn't find the laser crystal. I did not find the great laser crystal. I do apologize. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, Virgil's trust level, 62% are where we're at. Uh, drummer told Arlen and Rayan that she trusts Virgil. 19% told Arlen and Rayan she wasn't sure about Virgil. And the other 19% tied as well. Uh, drummer and Arlen and Rayan never discussed Virgil. They never even discussed, discussed it. Excuse me. Discuss it. No, 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 no. Got my country accent on today. I'm at the lower end of the scale uh, with me and the fam. Drummer didn't hear the entire story of Khan's surgery. 60% uh, actually heard the whole story of Khan's surgery from Maya. I must have missed some parts. And maybe there was a part that I was supposed to go and I probably would have also found the crystal if I would have did so. These two are probably tied in. All right. So to Khan's bow, bad story. Is that Khan's bow? Khan's bio story. Bi bio story? Uh, 21% didn't find the cigar just like us. 78% gifted Khan a cigar and learned about her past. 1% found a cigar but didn't give it to Khan. <laughs> like, you know what? I'm keeping this cigar for my, myself. Shout out to the one percenters out there. Arlen's medication. 68% um, like me and my fam. We found the medication. 30% uh, uh, gave Arlen medication. And 0% did not find the medication, didn't give it all. So most people did find it and did some type of action. Oh, 83. What? Wow. Why am I still getting diamonds in? Drummer gave mushroom powder to Virgo. 83% have done this. 0% um, found the mushroom powder but didn't give it to him. <laughs> They're like, you know what? This is my mushroom powder, bro. And But nobody did that. 17%. Didn't find mushroom powder. They didn't find. When it comes to Virgo's past, we were at, it's kind of split in a way between the top two choices. We we're at the lower end of that top choice. Uh, we didn't discover anything about Virgo's past. We're 50 piece, 50, blah, 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 50 piece. I said a 50 piece, 50 piece McChicken. Okay, we, we need that. We need that. Don't hook us up. You working with Don's. 52% talked to Virgo about his past. 1% didn't talk to Virgil about his past. Like, you know what? I don't care. Shout out to the one percenters. Again, 86% like me and my fam. Listen to Maya's music with her. You know, we like the jam. And I'm glad to know that most people like they're out there like the jam. 14% didn't listen to Maya's music with her. What's up with that? Switch. All right. Scotch for Cox. Um, wow. Um. We're at the 26% where Cox wasn't in the brig because, you know, we got rid of Cox. So, poor out of looking for a little call of homie. So, 22% didn't give Cox anything. And 52% gave Cox a bottle of scorch. I just poured out some liquor because he gone. R.I.P. Cox. Goodbye, good riddance. That was like, he wasn't here for that episode. You think like, maybe we should have saved him. I'm telling you. No, he needed to go. He's probably some trouble. But anyway, 87% spent the night with Maya. I told y'all. Who would not do it? 
most people that play this game is gonna they're gonna go for that sex scene every time. I know that's a little adult life, but this game is adult. This video is an adult video. 13% drummer spent the night in her own quarters. I did consider that maybe, just maybe, if I spent the night in my own quarters, that that could be better. But then I was thinking about the relationship, the relationship between me and Maya. Maya seems to be the closest person to me on the ship. It could, this story could be mainly meant to be about her and Maya's journey together and surviving. So I wanted to make sure that she was happy more so than the other people on the ship. So that's why I made my decision. It wasn't just about sleeping with her, but I know some may disagree. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a horny little dog. So, and I'm a pervert. I did want to do that too. And I probably still would have, but the main reason I did it was because I what I just said. So, um, all in all, great story. Really enjoyed it. Episode 200 Ground is out now. I do want to say if you have a problem with Xbox where you cannot start the game, because like I had, uh, what you want to do is make sure you have enough. You, I think you need like two gigabytes there. If you have the two gigabytes extra space, it'll start. But the episode should be there for you now. And um, yeah, the next episode is not available yet. Also, another thing uh, some people didn't know. Let's go. We're going to return to the main menu. If you're on Xbox, what I had to do to get it, if you got the season pass, what you do is you go in here. You go to manage installation or internal storage. And you're going to see these. You should have the season pass there. If you don't have it, you need to, I think you may have to download it or something. Or you didn't order the whole thing. Make sure that's checked to install it. If it's not installed, it's gonna be a it won't be a check mark there. You do that, select it, and then the install will go on the side, and then you can um, do what you need to do. Just thought I'd give some tips because I know some people are having problems. Episode three is not out yet. Um but the episode summary. I think these are gonna come into play, but and the next one is going to be Archer's pick. Oh, no, no. The next one is... No, they won't even want to let you look at it. So, forget what I'm saying here. Let me save my game. I had a problem saving this thing last time. But look like it auto-save right there anyway. But I just like having extra slots. Just in case something go wrong. Or I play without somebody. It's not letting me save in an extra slot. Oh, well. Um. Oh, I know what. If I was going to play, I had to select the slot and then start the game. Then it was saving it as a sl slot. That's a weird way to do it. But I think that's how that works. But that's going to do it for this episode. I really appreciate you guys for stopping by. I'm going to thank the ADG fam. I hope you guys won't be strangers. Maybe we can play a little bit more now. We got things a little bit more comfortable and nice back here. We can play in HD and stuff and still deliver the content to people in my channels. Hopefully, if the games are right, the times are right, they fit us, you know what I mean? So, with that being said, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next show, next video. I'm out of here. Get this game. Peace.